do you have a perfect credit score? If you said no, you're not alone. In fact, I don't have a perfect credit score, but I'm always looking for tips and tricks to get even closer to that 800 plus credit score. Now, if you're in the same boat as me, did you know that by simply paying your credit card bill on a certain date, you could increase your score at lightning speed? Today, we're gonna go over the best day to pay your credit card bill for credit score optimization. Surprisingly, it's not about making payments on a Sunday or a Wednesday or even a Friday. It's all about the statement closing date, which is different from your payment due date. Confused, intrigued, excited? So why is the closing date the best day to pay? First, let's go over the credit score overview. Your credit score is comprised of five key components, which I'm going to walk you through, along with some tips on how to optimize them to stride towards that perfect 800 plus credit score. And the first component is on-time payments. This factor is the most heavily weighed, accounting for 35% of your score. It's simple, pay your bills on time, always. If you miss a payment, you have a 30-day grace period before the credit card company notifies the credit bureaus. Remember, late fees can still apply. The second component is credit utilization. This component represents 30% of your credit score. The lower your credit utilization, the better. If your limit is 10,000 and you've been charged 5,000, your credit utilization is 50%. You wanna to aim to keep this under 30% or even 10% if possible. The third component is length of credit history. This makes up roughly 15% of your score. Never close your first credit card if you can help it. While closing a card isn't necessarily harmful, it remains on your credit report for 10 years. Keeping your first card open shows a longer credit history. The fourth component is credit mix. This accounts for about 10% of your credit score. Having a mix of credit types, such as credit cards, auto loans, home loans, can be beneficial. The fifth component is hard inquiries. This also accounts for 10% of your score. Hard inquiries or hard pulls happen when you apply for credit and are removed after two years. This is why when you're going to apply for a mortgage or apply for a new credit card, you wanna make sure you don't have any recent hard pulls as this can hurt your chances of getting a better rate on your loans. Now that we know exactly what makes up your credit score, let's talk about why not paying on your due date can actually help increase your credit score. When managing your credit card bills, timing is crucial, particularly in terms of when you pay your bills. The twist here is that the most beneficial date to pay your bill is the statement closing date, not the payment due date. This might seem counterintuitive, so let's dive into the details. In the world of credit scores, the aspect known as credit utilization plays a significant role. It contributes, again, about 30% of your overall credit score. Credit utilization essentially measures how much of your available credit you're using. If your limit is $10,000 and you've charged $5,000, your credit utilization is at 50%. The lower this percentage, the better it is for your credit score. Now, here's where the timing comes into play. Your credit card company doesn't constantly report your balance to the credit bureaus. It usually does so once a month, and you guessed it, on the statement closing date. This is the snapshot of your account that the bureaus will see and use to calculate your credit utilization. Therefore, if you pay off as much of your balance as you possibly can before this date, your credit utilization will appear lower. Remember, we wanna keep this under 30%. For instance, if your closing date is on the 15th of the month and you pay off your balance on the 14th, your credit utilization will be near zero when it's reported to the credit bureaus, regardless of how much you've charged throughout the month. This can result in a higher credit score because you're demonstrating low credit utilization. It's crucial to note that this strategy is particularly beneficial if you're trying to get a loan and wanna optimize your credit score. Paying your bills before the statement closing date can give your credit score a bit of a boost at the right time. However, if you find it more convenient to stick with your due date for your payments, that's perfectly okay. It won't harm your credit score, but it might not provide the potential immediate benefits of early payment. If you choose to pay on your due date, increasing your credit score might just take a bit longer since it doesn't maximize the benefits of timing your payments according to the statement closing date. Remember, the best payment strategy depends on your financial circumstances and goals. There's no one size fits all approach when it comes to managing credit.
If this is a financial tip that you aren't aware of, let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel for more tips and tricks.